We were just sitting around my flat dining table, I remember, and, and we were completely lost to ideas. And then we started thinking about what if we actually use what Microsoft has for offer, which is their cognitive services. It's essentially like AI, machine learning, computer vision. And to use that for, for example, promoting and just creating interactive displays, I knew Sean, a head librarian down at the library, which is how we negotiated this link with the library to approach them and say, what if we created an interactive display that recommends books in your system? So if we come over here and press that button to activate the system, it'll then pop up with a camera. I'll give it an emotion. We'll then send it off to Microsoft's cloud, get back the weather and the emotion. And on this cloudy day, recommended for someone who's happy, Oprah's Big Book of Happiness. The create space for us particularly was amazing. We created the button that we made for our interactive pop-up display. So the Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at the University of Auckland has provided heaps of machinery to go in the makerspace. One of these is the MakerBots or the 3D printers. These are pretty top of the line. They're pretty gnarly as well and they do a pretty good job. We're just creating a 3D mold with a button at the moment, which is really cool. We use a laser cutter to print out the acrylic glow above the LEDs which made it give a really cool effect and the almost pulling effect to want to press the button uh, for it to flash. And that was done in three hours. I think in particular that milestone of getting something done so quickly uh, with the support of the university and the creative technologists that are here as well, it was really phenomenal actually and it was a real big morale boost and I'm not sure whether that last, that last push without that, that simple button, it doesn't seem like a lot, um, but it actually really made all the difference and it makes all the difference now as well.